Warner Home Video Big W logo engraved in there. And it all the side of it also had that 343 sticker on there, but I peeled it off. It's got a tan lid, and I had to peel off the end label and print date because I tried to check the end of this tape, but it snapped, so I had to fix it. But one of these screws was not like the other, so I had to force the shell open. And I remember what the print date was. It was December 2nd, 1985. And I did check the end of it. There is no black screen depth at the end of this, unfortunately. And I also have to peel off that big W sticker right there. This sticker and that former rental sticker. It was a former rental from a store called Video Buffs. Yeah, I had to peel quite a few stickers off in order to fix this. Yeah, in order to get the shell open. This has Popeye meets Sinbad the Sailor and Popeye meets Alibaba's 40 Thieves. Recording tab is still intact. And it's got these printings right there. Says includes 30 minute VHS cassette, color forms space play board, four color forms play pieces, and parents participation sheet. However, the parents participation sheet was missing. But here's this and there's the little game board. And here's the actual tape. And someone named Marilyn used to own it, but it's mine now. Number 30, July 25th, 1987. June 19, 1997. I do also have the Lyric Studios screener copy of this. Which, that was actually the very first Lyric Studios screener I have ever owned. Long before I did any Barney screener. Which, I got the Toy That Saved Christmas Lyric screener in this case, around like 2012, I think. Somewhere around there. I might re upload it at some point. September 30th, 2000. VT. Yeah, this is the Word Entertainment copy. This is a 1959 film. Warner Home Video reprint. September 3rd, 2001 and number 36. It still has the MGM Going Home Video copyright screen. For some reason, it has the promotional purposes version of the warning screen. Even though this is, this is an official tape.
blue lid on this one. April 15, 2002, number 20. Wonder Bird's Hits, copy. Nineteen ninety three film. July first, two thousand two, and number sixty six. July 23rd, 2002, I think it says. You too. And there's a little crack right there, but the tape still plays perfectly nice. Number 21, Wonderbird's Hits, Part 2 actually has black reels, which is pretty cool. That's why I got this, because Part 2 of this has black reels. And none of these two tapes have any print dates. And I've not checked any of these two tapes or the toy that saved Christmas yet. Yeah, I have not checked those yet. But I will soon. Former rental, but that sticker's already been peeled off. January 13, 2004, and January 26, 2004, number one. February 17, 2004, number 99. I got this because this is a 2004 print. This is originally from Hollywood Video. Tenth week of 2004. This is the copy with previews. Yes, it is. Here's why I got this, and you guys are going to like this. October 4th, 2004. If you can see it. Oh, now you can see it. See that? This is why I got this one. Black reels on this one. October 20, 2004, and number 8. You guys are going to like this. November 30th, 2004, and number 25. That's why I got this, because 2004 print. See?
this originally came in a squeeze and shake when I got it, but I took it out of the squeeze and shake. And it was also in the shrink wrap, but the bottom part was chopped off. Black reels on this one. March 18th, 2005. Number 29. Here's where I got this one. You guys are going to like this one as well. April 4th, 2005. Number 88. Yes, 2005 print. 275T on this one. Okay, so you probably know what that means, right? I know the French DVD of this film is THX certified. Oh, and the bottom left corner of this is kind of ripped, but who cares? Originally from Home Video, and this has black reels. June 21st, 2005, number 57. I am currently looking for the demo VHS of this film. For a decent price. And I remember this was the very first double sided DVD I ever owned, which I got that at Fred Meyer several years ago, and like around like either 2005 or 2006, somewhere around there. I got this copy at Goodwill yesterday. So, here we go. So this is the widescreen side, and the full screen. There's the thing with the scene selections. And scene selection. White screen edition. And that barcode's kind of ripped. 2004 DVD. This one was sealed when I first got it. A Spanish DVD from Image Entertainment. Cinevision International. Distributed exclusively by Image Entertainment. How cool is that? Tell me. Latin catalog. There it is. Eco case. And I can tell this is a former rental. I saw this in the theater when it first came out. And I was actually in a production of the show Into the Woods, where I was the wolf. 
Well, this was back in 2016. Yeah, the summer of 2016 to be exact. I also saw this in the theater when it came out. Yeah. I was originally going to see Star Wars The Force Awakens on the day I saw it, but the tickets were all sold out, so I saw this movie instead. Ego case. movie club. This is from nineteen eighty seven. And sadly, Tate 2 is kind of busted up. But hopefully it should still play fine. If not, I can always try to get another copy of it. Or try to fix this. Like I did my Elvis's boot cassette. Yeah, there's that booklet. And the top of the case is kind of broken. But I did also get a couple blank scotch tapes. All of which were sealed when I got them. And they're exact and they are exactly identical to each other. So I'm not gonna show the the rest of the others since they're identical to each other. But that is it for this update, and I'll see you on the next update.